How are we doing today? This will be a fun one. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. Oh, thank you, hon. Trying to figure out the best way to get this thing out of here. Right. I tried to pull in here, and I couldn't get any farther than that. So, anyway, then I stopped that one. Well, then later on, Bud came, and to make matters worse, he's lost his cat. Oh, no. And we don't know what where she is or what. So that on top of everything else, and then this happened. Because Bud was over here looking for the cat. Mm -hmm. So then this happened. So I don't know what to do. Because I don't have enough room to come in from behind. I don't want to drag it down over through the ditch because it's up a lot more and it's already torn up. Give me a minute here, hon, and let me figure this one out. Yeah, that's why I was just telling her because I don't want to drag it through this because then it's going to tear up something that's in. And if we drag it backward, it's going to tear up more. I'm thinking what I need to do. Oh, that's a culvert. Oh, you got really lucky. Okay. Well, that option's out. I have to tell you this. Me getting this out of here, we're probably going to tear up your front bumper a little bit more. There's just no way around it. It's already torn up anyway. But that's right. I'm thinking the best thing for me to do is go back up here, turn around, and back in here, bring my bed down and try to get the chains underneath of it, and pull the front end up on that bed just a little bit. Okay. And then use the bed and whole truck to push you back over off this thing. Okay. That's probably going to be our best bet. Then how are you going to get it out? I mean, if you're going to push it back, i got to get out of here. Right. We're, we're going to have to move your car out of here. But I'm going to let you try to move it up because it's slick and it wouldn't, it wouldn't go. It wouldn't go up. Oh, this is going to be fun. So we're getting it from everywhere. Okay. Okay. And so the thing I can do is I can back up and hopefully not, you know, get into the truck, get into the ditch. See, right there where that snow is, where uh -huh. across, that's the driveway. And so I can back up there. Yeah, that's probably about the best place. Put your car here. Get it out. Yeah. My truck slid all the way down that driveway. Uh, Well, let's let's do this. What do you want me to do? Let me have your keys, hon. I think I will Hope, let hopefully, I can get your truck car without hitting his car. Yep. If nothing else, I'll back it in their yard. Well, no, no, that's that's what I was going to do. I wasn't going to go in there. I was gonna back back it straight up in that yard. That's what I'm thinking. If they don't like it, I'll say if they don't like it, they can kiss our butts, right? Hun, does your seat go back and forth? You always want to ask before you move somebody's seat, especially an electric motor. I don't know how many times they move them and then they don't move again.
Uh, no, I think what I'm going to do, if you want to walk up, I'll show you. Because, see, I don't have enough room in here to oh, get my big right. truck. Right. So our best bet is to come right through here, back down the driveway, and put my bed here, yeah. and try to drop it right here, yeah. and then wrap the chains underneath of the truck, I mean, underneath the car, I mean, and drag them up on my bed a little bit, and use my bed to lift the car up. And then I'll scoot the bed back as far as I can, and I'll hop in my truck, and we'll go backwards. Okay. And we'll try to get him up on that. Up on. Oh, oh, he... not out there. Yep. All right, well, let me get my truck going. Good afternoon, folks. This is the 14th day of the month. We had a good snow and ice here last night. Coming down this little driveway, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's an incline. But my truck slid all the way down this driveway. And this gentleman here somehow put his car in the ditch, as you can see. And the bad thing about this, let's see if we can get it down here where I can get to you, it's sitting over a culvert. I don't see any damage done to his car, but I can't just drag his car straight out. So we're gonna have to use my truck and lift it in the air and then go backward with it. To give you a better idea of what I'm gonna do here, down through the ditch here, is I'm gonna back my truck down this yard here. From up there, I'm gonna back it down to these people's yard and I'm gonna put my bed right here by his car I'm gonna hook chains to it and I'm gonna lift the car up in the air and try to back it up out of here it's about the only thing we can do without tearing up his car more than it already is
I got this guy out, and what did he do? He started driving, was going real good, and got into the, up here where he's at, and stopped. Let me have your keys, hon. Let me get you out of here. I'm gonna meet you up there. I can't believe he just stopped right here in the middle of the I don't know what happened. Is I your keys know. in the car? Yeah, they're in the, so the motor's on. All right, thank you, hon. Yeah, I got that guy out. He pulled up beside my truck and stopped. Right in the middle of the ice. It almost hit my truck. Let me get this lady's car out of here so we don't hurt. So that way she don't get stuck. Thank you, hon. Hopefully they put some salt down there. Oh uh, well uh Um you got a scratch piece of paper? Have I what? You got a scratch piece of paper and a pen? Yeah, what do you need? And uh, you'll be able to see all this on TV. Oh you're kidding. Nope. I don't know if I want to be on TV. What am I gonna write? Write Life of a Tow Truck Man. <laughs> Seriously. Are you kidding nope. me? Nope. And I can just bring that up on the computer? Yep. Okay, live. Of a tow truck man. Of a tow truck man. So you 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 film all this? Yep. <laughs> I love it. If you and get on, if you com or whatever. No, uh, go, you, you know what YouTube is? Yeah, I know you do. YouTube. Yeah. I'll do it. I got over 700 videos on there. <laughs> this will probably be on in the next couple of days. I better wait a couple of days. Uh, You're actually, it, I wish. What's your name? Donald. Well, my uncle asked me the other day how I was doing. I said, well, I'm, I, I'm known worldwide, but I'm the poorest celebrity you'll ever meet in your life. You didn't get paid for it, right? Uh, I've been doing it for about a year now, and I think I've made about $200 off YouTube. Well, I'm going to tell you, one thing, you know what you're doing. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, and thank you. Better. You folks have a good day now. <laughs> better than, we only live five minutes from here. So. Well, be, well, the rest of the roads are fine. I know they are, and thank you for getting Thank you, hon. You have a good day now. But yeah, get on YouTube and like and subscribe. I will. Thank you. Bye, hon. Okay, bye bye. I want to come down here and give you guys a better view of this cul de sac they went off into. As you can see it. He came right off of it. Coming off from this angle, he's lucky he didn't tear nothing up on that car but the bumper a little bit. And to be honest with you, I didn't know if that trick I did was going to work, but something I could think of to get it out here without tearing up his car. Because you see that steel, cul that steel culvert there, if that thing gets hung up on something, it's going to rip a lot of stuff apart. Well, at least we got him out of here. Everybody's happy. Thank you. Be safe out here driving in this nasty snow and ice.